we're going to keep those sports stories going with a local woman who can truly do it all. Morgan Meske is the Corporate Wellness Director at the YMCA Iowa-Mississippi Valley, and she's just returned from France, where she competed in the World Ironman Championship. And we are so excited to have Morgan join us here on The Current. Thank you so much for being here. Oh yeah, thank you so much for having me, Shelby. I was saying to you earlier today, um, the entire newsroom was like fangirling oh. over you being here today. <laughs> but why don't we start by you telling people what an Ironman is and how long all the segments are. Yep, so it starts with a 2.4 mile swim and then you go directly into a 112 mile bike ride and then it finishes with a 26.2 mile run. Easy, uh, right? The marathon <laughs> distance. <laughs> Which part of those, I have to ask, is like your least favorite to most comfortable? I tell people it gets better for me as it goes. Oh. So weak swimmer, pretty good on the bike, but really good at the, the run. Okay, nice, you can finish strong Yes, then. so as, as it goes on, I get more comfortable. Oh my gosh, how many Ironmans do you think you've done? Um, that was number four. Total? F total. Oh my gosh. So what did it take to qualify for the World Championship? So last year when I did the World Championships in Kona, it boosted my age group world ranking, and then Ironman reached out in the spring and offered me a slot for Nice. So it wasn't a race per se, but uh, just my age um, world ranking. Okay, so then you did your other two... Ironman to qualify for Kona. Is that how that worked? Um, so I qualified at Ironman Tulsa ah. last May for Kona, and that's based on your time, or not your time, but your finishing place. That makes sense. So, yeah. so let's talk about your finishing place a couple weeks ago in France. Oh, yeah. How did you do? Um, so I think there were about 1,300 women, and I was 400. 21st, I think. I love it. Top 100 in your age group? Uh, yes, yeah. Yes. That's so got to top feel great. Half. So yeah, it was a fun experience. I can only, oh yeah, fun. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say the same thing. <laughs> but what do you, how do you continue to motivate yourself to do Ironman? So I think once I sign up for the race, then I'm really invested. And then I get my training plan. And I tell a lot of people, you know, with all the training and the hours, you know, if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. Yeah. And so having it on paper, I signed up, I paid the money. Okay, now I know I have to do this. So I feel good on race day. And so I think staying motivated because you want to have a good race. Yeah. What does your training regimen look like? Um, so I'm about 20 to 25 hours a week. It's a, it's a part-time part like part job. job. Yep, so usually I'll do like a six to seven hour brick workout on Saturdays. So I'll bike 100 miles and then go run up to an hour afterwards. And then Sunday is a long run and Friday afternoon is a long swim. Wow. And then the other four days is just kind of divvied up. Wow. Well, we were talking earlier in the commercial break about how when we keep referring to Kona, that is the world championship is split up. There's the men's race and the women's race. And this year the men were in Kona, women were in France. Yep. Last year it was flipped. Yes. Um, so what is it like to be around so many other women that are doing the same yep. crazy, incredible thing that you're doing? So last year in Kona, I remember when we were running out by the energy labs and running back in, I looked around and I was like, there's, there's just women out here. Like it was just so empowering. And especially if there's not a lot of part fans out there, like running back into downtown Kona is really nice. And then same in France when there's fans cheering us on, like, you go girls. And I'm like, oh wait, it's only girls. Yeah. So it was really cool just to, the camaraderie and hearing everyone's stories like, where are you from? Where'd you qualify? Did you ever think you'd be here? And it was just great. Cause you know, some of us never thought we'd get to that stage and it oh, was just imagine. great. All right, so before I let you go, we've only got a few seconds left. What advice do you have? Even if someone doesn't think they can maybe do an Ironman, but sure. they want to just get healthier and start working out more. I'd say don't be afraid to try. You know, I was not a good swimmer. I had a nose plug. <laughs> I took swim lessons. You know, whatever obstacle or fear that you have from starting anything, whether it's a you know, marathon, Ironman, regiment, you know, just the first step is try. You know, just start and then build from there. And it'll get easier, I promise. <laughs> I'm gonna trust you, Morgan. Uh, thank you so much for stopping in yeah, and congratulations. Thank you. thank you. For you guys at home, you can share Morgan's story because we've got an online version up on our website underneath the As Seen on TV tab.